Hi, this is Jamie. Um, I was asked to do a tutorial on how to uh, blend, the basics of blending uh, when it comes to painting in Photoshop. So that's what I'm going to cover in this video. So essentially, um, the idea is when you're painting something, an apple, a person, uh, a tree, whatever, you're probably going to want to blend the colors that you paint onto the canvas in real life and in digital painting. Um, unless you're doing some kind of impressionist piece, you're going to want to blend your colors together in order to get that you know, subtle gradation of the shadowy side of an apple to the highlighted side. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So what I'll do first is I'll just pick some basic colors and I'll blend them together. So we'll get this green and we'll just paint this down on the canvas and I'll pick uh, yellow, put that one down and I'll pick an orange and I'll put that one down. So we've got some nice differences in color there. Um, now, the first thing you're going to want to do is get a Wacom tablet. If you don't have a Wacom tablet or some other form of tablet, there's plenty of brands. Um, I really do suggest you get one before you try and paint in Photoshop or Painter or any kind of application um, because it really is impossible with a mouse. I find some people manage to do it. I don't know how, but I really do recommend you get um, a tablet of some kind. Um, something with good pen pressure. Um, I use the Intros 3, but whatever you want. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to set your brushes, your brush to use pen pressure for opacity. Um, the reason you want to do this is because it gives you a more natural feel. For example, I'll just show you here. Um, if I press lightly on the canvas, you see how my orange is quite light there, but the harder I press, the darker the color gets. And that's really useful when you're shading, as you can probably imagine. It's like, you know, I can get this gradation of orange just from pushing my pen slightly less hard as I move across here. That's really useful when you're doing any kind of blending or any kind of painting. Um, you can also control opacity from the slider, which is just off the screen up here. Um, and you can do it with the one to zero keys. Zero is 100% and one is 10%. So just keeping that in mind, um, you need to uh, set your... Uh, brush to use pen pressure for opacity. So you open the brush palette here and you click other dynamics and you click on control, you, you set it to pen pressure and that's for the opacity jitter and that will give you that, that setting. If I turn that off just to show you, you'll see now that I don't, it's just that solid color, it doesn't matter how hard I press. So you really want to set that and make sure that's on. So I'll just put that back on. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to blend these colors. now. Essentially, the color picker is what we use to do that. This is the color picker over here, but you can also press Alt and it will bring it up and then you just click and see it changed there to green, here to yellow, there to orange. So what you want to do is you want to pick your green and you want to lightly start pressing down here where you've got the, where it intersects with the yellow. And you'll see that we start to get sort of a new color, a sort of in-between color. And this is where the color picker comes in because what we'll do now is we'll pick that in-between color, which is sort of lime green, and we'll start putting that sort of in between the two. And now we have sort of a darker green, a lime green, and a yellow. And then we pick that lime green again, and we just do sort of one or two strokes over the yellow, and then we get an even lighter green. It's even more lime now, and then we start to put that down. And this way, we start, and then we can come here now and pick the yellow and do sort of here, and we'll get another sort of green, greeny yellow, and we start to put that down. And you see, now we're starting to get sort of a blending here and if we keep going we'll start to get a smooth gradation between those colors as you can see here and you just do that for the same thing so we'll pick the yellow and we'll do a little stroke here and we start to get this sort of yellowy orange and then we'll do another stroke here and then we'll pick that again and a stroke and then we'll pick that and then a stroke and then we'll pick that it's not quite blended so we'll just do that again and you just keep doing that and you just pick the color until you sort of can find, you know, you, you get your orange and you, you go, okay, that's the solid orange. You do your little stroke and then you've got a sort of lighter orange or a darker orange, depending on what you're blending with. And you just keep picking those colors up and putting them back down. Um, and that's essentially the, the basic principle of it. it it's quite simple. Um, it can get complicated, obviously, when you're doing a big complicated painting or you're doing a portrait or something like that. But this is pretty much the basic technique behind it. So that's how you blend the colors. Um, I'll give you a pretty, uh, I'll give you a more practical, um, a practical application for it in a second. I'll just um, get my brushes all set up and then I'll come back. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just painted a circle. 
and I had to change my brush to do that. That's why I paused the video. So I've just painted a solid blue circle. Um, and now what we want to do is make that three dimensional with some shading. So essentially what we're going to do here is we pick this color. Um, I'm just going to make my brush a little bit smaller. Um, just going to make my brush a bit smaller. Um, so we've got this color and that's set up here. And we'll just go down here and we'll sort of move this down and pick a darker, uh, a darker color to represent the shadow. And then what we do is just the same process as over here. We just start sort of lightly painting that, that shadow in. And the light source is going to be coming from here down, so the shadow will be on this side. So we start painting this shadow in to the sphere. And at first it's not going to look very good, but once you've got some shading in, it will. So we've got a shadow area, and now we need a highlight area. So we pick this color again, and we'll just move up sort of about here, get a brighter blue, and we'll start to put that in here. So now we have a highlight, a midtone, and our shadow. Now we have to blend it together so it actually looks good. So what we'll do is we'll start, we'll pick the midtone, and the shadow is probably overreaching a bit into the center. So what we'll do is we'll start brushing back into the shadow. And you'll see how we get our secondary color showing up here. There's our dark, there's our new color, and there's the midtone. So we'll pick that new color, and then we'll start to brush over that. And you can see how the shadow is now really starting to blend in. Just with a couple of strokes, we're starting to get a much more 3D looking image. So we'll keep doing this and you know, it is a matter of trial and error. You do have to play around with this a bit. It's not, there's not like a hard and fast way to blend, but there is a technique and it, it, it really, at that point, it comes up to sort of your art artistic ability, your ability to see what's happening in, a, in an image. Say you're doing a life drawing, like a figure study, you know, you have to be able to pick up with your eye, the different tonal variations and, and be able to put that down on the canvas. So we've got a shadow and mid tone kind of happening there. And now we need to blend a highlight in. And again, it's just the same process of, you know, keep picking up those colors as they get darker or lighter and using them to blend everything together. It's a bit too dark down here. You'll also find um, that sometimes pen pressure isn't enough and that you do need to be a bit more subtle with your, uh, with your, um, with your blending. Now, what you can do is you can change the opacity slider. So right now, if I push down really hard, I'm going to get full 100% opacity. If I do it lightly, I'm going to get 10. Okay, so what I normally do when I need to really start to blend a little bit more subtly, I'll probably go to about 60 on the opacity. So now when I press really hard, I only get that. And I have to go again to get it to go really dark, probably about three or four times. Um, this allows you to just be a bit more subtle with your blending. So. Now I'll just pick these colors again now that I'm set to 60. You can do that by the way just by pressing the 6 key. And now I can, these little pieces here that um, <clears throat> aren't quite blended smoothly enough, you can really start to get in there now and, and, and not worry about laying down too hard a stroke. So I usually tend to do this closer to the end. Uh, this is not something you'd worry about hugely when you're just sort of blocking in the initial colors for your painting. But you know, you probably will want to do it if you want a really sort of smooth, evened out tone. So that will probably do for now. And then you can obviously go in and add shadows and, and color bouncing and light bouncing and all those kinds of things and highlights. You know, we could just stick a little highlight in quickly. Um, we'll just pick the white for now. Um, so, you know, we can just sort of lightly brush in a bit of a bit of a hot spot there and maybe even make the brush a little bit smaller. Use that white again and just put, you know, a little dot in there. And, you know, there's a little hot spot, then you've got your highlight, then you've got your midtone, then you've got your shadow. So that's basically how you paint in Photoshop, the basics of blending and how to sort of, you know, start creating images. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any suggestions for tutorials, um, please post them below if you're on YouTube. And if you're on Digital Arts Front, post them in the forums. Thanks, guys. Bye.